when Michael came to me. It was at the neighborhood playhouse. And what he was doing at the time, uh, you were singing in coffee cafes, I believe, with your guitar. One of the things that I did learn that stays with me and that I carry with me onto a stage or onto a set when I get nervous, and I'm nervous every time, it's just a matter of degree, whether I'm on stage or if I'm in front of a camera, I, I'm always dealing with nerves. And the technique has to do with, it's, it's, it's my toolkit for how to deal with nerves and self-consciousness. Self and then I remind myself of little things like, <clears throat> acting is behaving truthfully in imaginary circumstances. And put in that context, then I can say, I can do that. That's a manageable thing. I can do that. I can behave truthfully in imaginary circumstances. I was talking to a friend of mine, a very fine actor, English actor, last week. I was asking him how he prepares for auditions. And he said, I prepare really prepare. I learn the lines. Uh, and if I'm going to meet a director, I research that director about him, about his politics, about his personal likes and dislikes and so on, so that I can have a conversation with him, so that I can connect with him as a, as a person. And then I look at the character and I try to find something. I try to imagine how most people would do this play this part, audition for this part. And I want to go in a completely different direction. That's about balls. Not wanting to be liked. We've, we've really got to get rid of that one. That is an actor's single greatest enemy. Isn't it ironic that the reason that we get into this business and do what we do is the very thing that will destroy us and keep us from having the career that we want. Mm -hmm. We have to completely get rid of wanting to be liked because it is the antithesis of truth. It is the enemy of truth. Every great person, Martin Luther King, Gandhi, throughout history, you just pick these people. Their mission in life was to tell the truth and they were willing to sacrifice their lives for it. That is the length to which they were willing to go. Those were the stakes that they were playing for. And I want to suggest that it's no different for actors. Those are the stakes that we need to play for. We have to, when we get on the stage, it's like Stella said, you don't walk on that stage unless you feel your life depends on it. Your life depends on every fucking moment that we're on stage. And uh, was it who said, you know, hit your marks and tell the truth? It was uh, Spencer Tracy. It sounds so simple. What's the key to acting? And he said, hit your marks and tell the truth. But what goes into getting to the place where you have the balls to tell the truth is the homework. It's all the preparation so that you have a concrete point of view that is all yours and only yours. That you have taken your interpretation of that character. Of course, you, you, you take into consideration the, the author's point of view. But you're making it your own. And have the courage to make it your own and give it your own interpretation. We are interpretive artists, right? So be bold enough to interpret the material and put your own unique thumbprint on it. You know, as actors, you understand that, that you're, you're looking for the unobvious. Sure. You're looking for something that is off. Um, I, I worked recently with a wonderful actor named Brian Cox, and he's one of my favorite actors. Do you know who he is? He said, you know what it takes to be in this business, Michael? I said, what? Balls. Balls. You gotta have balls to be in this business. You gotta have balls to be in the business. You gotta have balls to take the rejection. You gotta have balls to 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 say uh, 
what you believe, you have to have balls to stand up to a director, not in a cavalier way, not in an arrogant way. It's such an unpredictable business uh, for actors, and uh, the element of surprise is always there. Uh, I think that the most important thing for me, and when I talk to young actors, is to stay busy and to do theater. Um, and to be grateful for whatever comes your way and just to keep working when whatever it is. The advantage to independent filmmaking is that uh, you get to do uh, fulfill the purpose of, 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 of movie making which is storytelling and you don't have as many people looking over your back telling you what to do and how to do it. I, I feel that that's uh, our responsibility is to, is to tell, tell stories that are meaningful that can have an impact on, on society and also be entertaining. How much important is luck in an actor's career? 90%. Really? 90%. The other 10% is 100% of preparation. Okay. You know, the, the old saying about when, when preparation meets opportunity, mm -hmm. that creates luck. And also uh, perseverance and just not giving up. And I, I think that that has to do with passion. If we're passionate about any, you have, one has to be passionate, especially in the arts, and I think that this is really what is so important about the arts, is that artists are necessarily passionate, and they are necessarily willing to be alone. Uh, and that is something that's kind of against human nature, because we don't want to be alone. We are, it's our nature to want to commune with other people, to be in the company of other people, but art is really created in solitude, uh, in, in visions. Visions really come to an artist, I think, in, in, in moments of solitude. I feel connected to everything. It takes me out of competition. It takes me out of better than. It makes me feel a part of humanity. It makes me feel whole. It makes me feel still and quiet. It makes me feel that I'm enough exactly as I am. So that when I go out into the world, into my daily life, I'm not trying to I'm not trying to suck things out of the world. I'm not looking for fulfillment out here because I'm experiencing it in here. I, I just want to say thank you for inviting me here. And uh, it's sure. really, I haven't seen Bill in, uh, it's been a couple of years, I think since I was here last time. And uh, it's just really a treat to come here and to be among actors. And, uh, one of the things that Dustin talks about in this, <laughs> masterclass is the uh, <clears throat> importance of, he said, you know, in this, in this business, your greatest enemy is passivity. And you have got to get together with actors, whether it's to do poetry readings, whether it's to sit around and tell jokes, but to be together. So this is really a gift for me. It's an opportunity for me to be among my fellow actors and to uh, be reminded of really what it's what it reminds me why am I here why am I doing this because it's too fucking hard this the business part of it oh it's too hard yeah if there is not an element an aspect of fun in it forget about it it's not worth it so you gotta love it you gotta love it